Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm having a great day here in the shop. I think it's time we do a secondary video to how a piston ported chainsaw works. That video was a huge, huge success. That was the first video I made on YouTube, or one of the first, that really got moving on its own. So I'm going to use the cutaway and let's do a part two, how a piston ported chainsaw works. In this part, of the series, and I'm going to make this a series, I'm going to show the basic order of operations and what is going on. And then we can get further down the rabbit hole in what's going on in the saw. I want you guys to all understand, as I do, how it works. So the best way to do it is to show it in a cutaway. Here we go. Let's do this. Okay, how a piston port a chainsaw works. I made this cutaway so you guys could all see what's going on in here. Uh, I get wicked questions almost daily, and it's like, geez, I wish I had a cutaway of a piston ported chainsaw. So I made one. We got a still 028 Super. Uh, you notice it has a pop-up piston factory. Um, for those of you who are new at working on engines, uh, spark plug, cylinder, piston, wrist pin. There's your rod. That's the small end of the rod and the big end of the rod. You'll hear people say that. This is your crankshaft. The rod is part of the crankshaft, but this is a crankshaft, crank bearing, your crank seals here, crank case. Okay, bottom dead center, top dead center, top dead center, bottom dead center. I'm going to start on the intake side, intake port, exhaust port. I have another cutaway here, lower transfer, upper transfer. Notice the upper transfers are sloped this way okay we're going to talk about all this in a later video okay lower transfer upper transfer here's your exhaust port okay we're going to start on the intake side and show you a full rotation of this engine and what's going on the engine spins forwards which is clockwise in this case the clutch mounts here and the chain goes that way okay we hit bottom dead center. Now this is a piston ported engine. Notice the intake port is closed. The exhaust port is open. The upper transfer is open. Okay, I'll zoom in on an upper transfer. There you go, upper transfer is open. You guys can see that. Now, bottom dead center. Let's start at the bottom on an intake stroke. Notice, open. And open okay as it starts traveling up the first thing to close is the transfer the upper transfer closes now notice the exhaust is still open okay the exhaust closes now watch this this is what happens when you start pulling fuel in fuel and air the skirt clears the bottom of the intake the minute that that opens you start getting fuel and air into the bottom end okay it starts drawing fuel and air. That fuel and air fills this whole bottom end underneath the piston, okay? Your lower transfer and your upper transfer. All that air gets pulled in and fills all of this area. I'm gonna pull you off the mount. I want you to see, if you can, see if we can get you in here. Notice the upper transfer, can you see that? The upper transfer is exposed to the bottom end right now. So when you're pulling fuel and air into one of these saws, just get you back in the mount here, okay? All that fuel and air is in here, okay? Your whole cylinder underneath the piston, it lubricates your small end of the rod, your big end of the rod, your bearings, okay, that is all lubricated by the incoming charge of fuel and oil. Okay, now notice the exhaust is closed and both your transfers are exposed to the bottom of the engine, okay? So that's, you're drawing air in. Now, as the piston starts to come down, okay, right there, it closes the intake. Notice that this skirt closes the intake, okay? Now notice the exhaust is closed. The piston is traveling down. It starts to compress. 
the intake charge. Think you have all this volume. It starts to push down on it the minute the piston starts traveling down. It's compressing this charge and really starts to compress it as you're going down. Now watch all this in relation to each other. I'm going to get you in a little bit closer here. I want you, don't focus on the bottom end. I want you to focus on the pistons ports and what they're doing. Okay. As the piston starts to come down, it closes right here. Okay. Now notice the exhaust is still closed. It's pushing, 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 right? All this area is full of fuel and air. It's pushing and compressing it. This wants to go somewhere. Well, where is it going? It wants to go into the transfers, right? I'm going to zoom you back out here. Okay. That is pushing this into here. But remember, this transfer is closed, okay? It wants to push that fuel and air into the upper transfer, right? But this is closed, so you're compressing that. We talk about compression a lot in engines. Well, you're actually compressing this bottom end charge, okay? Now, as that compresses, eventually, the upper transfer will open. Now, let's see if you can see that again. Okay, the upper transfer opens. Okay, so from here to, wait for it, you'll see it open right there. See how it opened? Okay, that's how much you're really compressing it. And you're forcing it from the bottom end out here. And that's what fills your combustion chamber. It doesn't have valves like a four stroke. Okay, so that's your intake stroke, right? Piston's going up, it's, as the piston goes up, it's creating a bit of a suction. Does that make sense? Like a syringe. It's creating a suction that's pulling up, creating a vacuum in the bottom end. And the minute this opens, it goes, does that make sense? And it wants to go in there as it goes up. And then on the way down, it starts, it pulls in so much that it starts compressing it on the way down, creating pressure, right? And then boom, that pressure shoots out of, the upper transfers now let's talk about exhaust okay where does the exhaust come into play as this goes up right you're pulling fuel and air into it right it goes up just before top dead center this will fire creating a flame front or an explosion i say explosion because everybody understands that explosion it pushes down on your piston which is what we refer to as a power stroke, right? Boom, it's pushing, 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 pushing. Watch the exhaust port. Pushing, bang, the exhaust port cracks. All that spent fuel and air starts to come out the exhaust port, okay? It goes this way and out. Now, at a certain point, your upper transfers will open. You want enough time for this to come out and then this to start filling. These fill in this direction, okay, towards the intake side, which there's a lot of theories about this. That's to sweep the fuel or the exhaust out and push whatever's remaining, okay? Now the last part, so you guys see that? Boom, spark plug fires, it's pushing. This is where you get your power from. It's pushing down and then boom, it goes out, okay? Now, the last thing, how is compression built? Compression is built from here to here, okay? When your bottom ring or your top ring, here's your ring groove. When your ring clears the exhaust port, that's when you're building compression. So you're building compression from here to here. That's where the compression comes from, okay? So there we go. That is how a piston ported chainsaw works. I hope I kept it simple enough. Again, syringe. Syringe is pulling up, up, up. It creates a vacuum in here because it's pulling, but everything is closed. It pulls a vacuum. As soon as the vacuum is corked, boom, fuel and oil come through here, get forced into the upper transfers. 
Compression is being made from here to here. You can press that last charge, bang, the spark plug fires, it pushes it down, the exhaust goes out, the transfer is open, and we start it all over again. Air in, swirls down through there, out comes the exhaust, in comes the transfer charge, knock the camera, in comes the transfer charge, we close the exhaust port, we compress the transfer charge, it fires again. Does that make sense? That's how a piston ported chainsaw works. Fuel and air in, spark plug goes bang, pushes it down, exhaust cracks, transfers open, charge is being compressed, sucking the new charge in, and it just goes around and around. It's just that simple, guys. It's either compressing the charge on the top and creating a vacuum on the bottom, or it's compressing the charge on the bottom and creating a vacuum on the top. In more, in relative terms. You guys get what I'm saying. This is under pressure pushing down, and then this becomes a vacuum pulling up, letting the fuel and air in. There we go. I hope you guys got something out of this. Just gonna stop right here. There you go, guys. That is how a piston ported chainsaw works. Uh, I hope it was simple and direct and to the point. Um, I hope you guys got something out of it. Uh, that thing's incredible. It, it makes more sense now. You just look at it and it's all there. Watch the video a couple times and watch. Because that's the thing. There's several things going on at once in that engine. But it's simple, is it not? Anyhow, thanks for watching. I really appreciate everybody coming here. I hope you guys got something out of that. We're going to go farther. We have to go into exhaust timing, intake timing, lower transfer shapes, upper transfer shapes, and timing, and blow down and squish and combustion chamber sizes, uh, trenching cases. We can show all that on there, which is incredible stuff. Anyhow, as always, thanks for watching. Take her easy.